What's up everybody? Marcus Collius and we're going to Montreal. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty disappointed in myself for this video. Going into it, I wasn't sure how interesting I am or how deserving of a vlog I am. So apparently my answer to that is to gratuitously continue to take off more clothing. So for all you dudes watching, I do apologize. And for all you ladies, you're welcome. Enjoy. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy. This is my very first vlog. We got some big things happening in Montreal. I'm gonna be doing presentations all week. I'm gonna be doing some store visits, crazy workouts, you know how it is. Now, getting started, I've gotta be at like 1,000 trips or so in my life, and yet I still look like this when I'm traveling. This is just wrong. Uh, customs, here we go. I don't know about you, I love you. I mean, I'm going somewhere. If you don't particularly love air travel, I recommend you choose a few things at the airport that will make it more enjoyable. Uh, I just finished having a massage, and uh, now I'm just gonna take a few minutes to relax. I brought my food with me. Got my meals away, chicken and rice, one of my favorites, and uh, of course, a whole lot of broccoli. life hack I only realized recently is just so awesome is staying at the airport I don't do it often but certain times allow me one eternity late certain trips allow me to stay at the airport no need for a car rental no need to pay for parking plus look around it's like no one here Run around in my underwear. I only got caught like twice. All right, let's check out this presidential suite. I wasn't in the mood to go out to a restaurant tonight and uh, did a little bit of uh, in-room dining. Oh baby. You ever eat something so freaking good that you instantly start thinking about when will be the next time that I get to enjoy this food again? That is this steak and this pepper sauce. Oh my goodness. Hitting me with this? I don't know why it gets me so fired up, but I love laying out my outfit for the morning. I'm picturing my cardio. It's gonna be an amazing day. Let's go get some fasted cardio in. You know how I roll. Drip it. That was 40 minutes. Uh, I haven't done sprints in a while, so I'm more <laughs> winded. I was more winded than I usually am. Uh, as you can see, I didn't sweat that much, but I want to show you what was going on with Drip Fit and the Drip Fit belt. Oh, 
Oh, it's gross. Cardio in the books, breakfast digested, must be time to go work out. So we're gonna go slam some shoulders. I'm gonna take all my stops. I'm gonna lube back up with uh, Drip Fit and we're gonna go hit this. So I know I sweat a lot. This is how I look post-workout. And that wasn't even a very sweaty one. Uh, that gym was freaking freezing cold. You fear sweat. If you're the person who doesn't like to sweat much, I'm gonna recommend you get over that really quick. I don't, I struggle to believe that you're gonna get really good results in the gym if you're afraid to sweat. Embrace it, enjoy it, go hard the other way. Lather up with friggin' drip fit and enjoy the soak. So we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go get our car and we're gonna drive up to this uh, Auberge La Beaujaron, a um, couple hours north of Montreal. And that's where we've got our first presentation tonight. It's Thursday right now. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, gonna meet with all the Popeyes managers out here from Quebec in the Maritimes. So there's something like 26 managers. I'm gonna put on a little hour and a half presentation for them. Uh, treat them some Magnum goodies, treat them to some dinner, and uh, it should be a great day. Freaking gorgeous out there, huh? Look at this. Boo yeah. Boo yeah. Uh, I'm not exactly what you would call a person who travels light. Got myself a microwave. So we're on the road. I uh, got myself a pretty sick little uh, luxury infinity here. We're, we're experiencing some of the beautiful countryside of Montreal. And uh, now we're north and east of it. And we're gonna be driving for uh, about an hour and a half to go to this incredible resort. And uh, it's gonna be a killer day. Just going by the carpets alone. Uh, I'm gonna say now about 70% chance of being haunted here. All right, I'm getting all fired up. I have a huge presentation right now for 25 to 30 Popeyes managers. These guys are awesome. These guys know their stuff. And I gotta go in there and wow them. You can hear just beyond me, just beyond these trees here, friggin' beautiful river. Man, this is, this is good for the soul right here. That's a translator. Friggin' awesome. It's gonna be a great presentation. You wanna see how you know I was working hard for that presentation? Oh, gee. <laughs> That's the real Marcus right there. Amazing presentation. Uh, almost lost my voice and I got three more presentations to go in the next three days. Now I'm off to dinner with all these amazing Popeyes managers and some of the big, big wigs from the industry. Uh, should be fun. Come join me.
You seriously trying to tell me I'm not in a horror movie right now? <laughs> well, it's only getting darker and it's gonna get scarier. <laughs> Honestly, look at this, this is a freaking horror movie. You guys, like just... Yeah, I'm not used to this kind of, this kind of nonsense. If you don't see me again, tell my wife I loved her. Good morning. It's Friday morning and uh, we're gonna have a freaking smoking day today. We're gonna get going with some fasted cardio. Uh, that's the way I like to start my day. It's gonna be a big leg day later on, but uh, pretty awesome little resort, so I might as well hit up that spa. And we got a presentation tonight, then we got a presentation tomorrow morning, and then Sunday morning. It's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Well, here we go again, folks. We're gonna hike back another 20 minutes to find that spa. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm an idiot. I've got my flip-flops on. I'll admit it. Uh, anybody else like me, the minute you've got a free moment to yourself, it's like instant vacation mode. Yeah, Marcus is on vacation right now. If you'd like to leave a message at the tone, he'll get back to you. If I can offer a piece of advice to all you young entrepreneurs out there, Anybody who's running their own business, anybody who feels like they have to be buried in their work for the next few years. Remember to take a few minutes, as often as you can. Just appreciate friggin' nature. Appreciate something outside of business, outside of the small, narrow world that you're creating for yourself. I'm not blasting you, man. I've been an entrepreneur for a lot of years now. I know the small bubble that I lived in for many years. This is the stuff. Just taking a second to appreciate friggin' beauty of nature, beauty of God's creation, and uh, it's, it's just so good for the brain, it's so good for your soul. You gotta carve out time as often as you can. Meditate, breathe it in, breathe in some fresh air. Get some vitamin D on your skin. Enjoy life. So officially the most incredible spa uh, I've ever been to. This is all outdoors, as you can see. We've got hot tubs, beautiful like shower thing over there, and that's the cold tub right there, and relaxation space. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this if there were other people here, but I apparently have the whole spa to myself. No big deal. Now I'm gonna go enjoy myself, so just back off, okay? Back off.
Starting route to Novo Bell. Head south on Chemin de Lanouville, France. Thank you.